That breaking news is out of Greensboro. Lanes on I-40 West just reopened following a crash that shut down the road for seven hours. This wreck happened early this morning between Freeman Mill Road and West Wendover Avenue. Our crew saw multiple police cars and DOT vehicles at the scene. We also saw officers walking around looking for evidence. It appears at least two vehicles were involved in this crash, a red car and a white car with damage to the back. Guilford Metro Communications says injuries were reported we don't know how many people are injured or their conditions yet. We have also reached out to police for more details about the crash. As soon as we learn more, we'll bring it to you. Also breaking this afternoon, Congresswoman Kathy Manning is recovering from several broken bones following a car crash. Her office issued a statement saying she fractured her sternum and a bone in her foot. We told she was treated and released from the hospital and is now at home. This crash happened yesterday on Highway 29 at River Road in Guilford County. Highway Patrol says a driver heading north crashed into the vehicle Manning was in while turning onto River Road. We're told Congresswoman Manning's driver was also hurt. The driver who caused this is charged with failure to yield. In Winston-Salem, a crash caused a car to flip on Salem Parkway, causing major delays for the morning commute. This is what the backups looked like from the DOT camera at Cemetery Street. Police say two cars collided just before 8 o'clock this morning in the southbound lanes near Martin Luther King Jr. Drive. One of the vehicles overturned, as you see here. Officers tell us the people involved in this wreck had minor injuries. Salem Parkway is back open for your afternoon commute.